Hey y'all, it's Kai Renee here and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. Come on in, because I got a whole bunch of space for you, okay? Now this is the place where I do my hair, a little bit of beauty, and I basically just pull myself together, okay? And to those that are returning, coming to see me each week, I love you and I appreciate you, okay? So today I'm gonna be showing you guys how I clean all my hair utensils down to my combs, clips, and brushes. If you wanna see how I get all my hair tools clean so I can keep delivering y'all these fresh styles, be sure to stay tuned. So, you know, making sure you have clean hair tools is paramount, paramount to hair and scalp health, okay? You can't be having your hair and scalp all clean and then going in there with dirty tools. You, it don't make sense. You gotta make it make sense. So you gotta clean your hair utensils, those clips, those brushes, those combs, any other thing that you fit into your hair, okay? Scarves do-rags, bonnets, regularly, okay, regularly. So first I like to start off with just like my combs, my detangler brushes, right, and get them nice and soaked with some shampoo. Now, the first thing you do is get your water all nice and hot in the sink, okay, go on with a little bit of shampoo, get it in your hand so you can bubble up your water, soak up that water. What I like to do is go ahead and take my rat tail comb and kind of go through the rungs or go through the slits in the easy detangler brush. That way I can knock some of that hair up. If anything is kind of like, you know, wrapped around other bristles, I can kind of get that out the way and then pull those hairs out. So I like to soak them in some warm water and, you know, just make sure, you know, they get marinating a little bit before I get there and do the dirty work, okay? So then what I like to do is kind of like take a toothbrush and put some shampoo on the toothbrush and then brush like the individual pieces of the brush here. Brush those individual pieces of like the comb, like get all between the ridges, all between the good stuff and really checking to make sure that I'm really getting all that crud, all those oils, those creams, okay? Gotta get all that crap out of there. You gotta get it up. All right, y'all, so I really wanted to point out how serious I get down with my cleaning, okay? So you're gonna take that toothbrush with that shampoo and really get up in there, okay? Get get to those nook and crannies, get that grime off. I took the insert of my dimming brush, went on the other side of that, got that clean, the actual brush part itself of my dimming, cleaned that all up and really got into that comb, okay? Really get in between those teeth, cause right here you can see what happens if you really don't pay attention, you can leave some stuff behind you don't want to do that so then after i get out done with that toothbrush and get all the nooks and crannies all the other gunk off around it you know i'm also taking that time while i'm cleaning to really like look at my tools and assess them okay i'm trying to see like are they too worn where they're not even safe to go on my hair anymore do i need to just go ahead and throw this brush or this comb away we missing teeth like there, there are rough ridges stuff that can catch onto my hair and cause breakage so i'm just putting a little more effort in to spend time with my tools just to make sure they're still working for my hair see if i still like them so then what i like to do is to soak all my brushes um, my detangler brushes and my combs and like some antibacterial soap too. So that's gonna be kind of like, you know, a sanitize and just to make sure I get like all of the film. These brushes and stuff, these brushes, combs are always doing some detangling, doing the dirty work, putting products through. So they're getting heavily saturated in the oils, butters, creams, and everything else that I'm putting in my hair. So I wanna make sure that like, even like the little slick film that may be left over after I shampoo them, it's all the way gone. So after I got them jokers all dipped in the palm olive and I think I am satisfied, I go ahead and give them a really good rinse and I go ahead and lay them out on the towel. So then what I like to do here is take my little bottle of alcohol get them a good little spread this is gonna be like my last sanitize right now you don't necessarily have to do this but i like to do it i mean if you go to the hair salon you know they are soaking the combs and stuff and barbicide or whatever um new chemicals or chemicals that they use to make sure they're sanitized this is like my own personal sanitizing time just to make sure everything is clean and bacteria free and whatever else free okay don't want no critters from last week's hairstyle up on this now okay don't want no critters from two months ago from two months ago hairstyle up on this brush or comb again in my hair don't want that okay so then i go on to my boy bristle brush and of course you know we can't soak this brush because whatever the the glue is that's holding the bristles in there it's gonna come all the pieces so what i kind of like to do is kind of like rinse it Get my fingers in between, like, you know, the spaces or the, the lines in the brush and getting the hairs out. I also like to take my little thin comb and get any of, like, the broken bristles out, any of the hairs that seep down in there. Now, the boy bristle brush, I don't wash as often. I might do this one, like, once a quarter or something like that because this brush is pretty much just for smoothing down, you know, slicking back something so it doesn't get heavily used in a lot of my styles. Anyway, 
But if it does, you know, if I'm using a lot more, then I'll put more effort in making sure it's clean. Then I move on to my plastic clips. Now, they be in the thick of it, the nitty gritty with me too. So then I'll go ahead and wash these jokers up with some antibacterial soap. And my, my goal is to make sure they're clean. I just use my fingers with it just to, um, you know, see if I see any gels or any other dirt or debris. I just use my fingers to get those clean. All right, so after I got my clips all nice and clean, I like to give them a good old rinse, okay? I put my towel over to the dry side. And then I go ahead and kind of like, you know, shake some of that water off and then just lay my clips on the towel for the next step of the cleaning process right so here i go with my little spray bottle of alcohol what i'm gonna do is just spray the top of the clips okay we're really trying to get stuff sanitized then i'll go ahead and flip those clips on over because what we got to do the other side all right got to spray the other side with alcohol too and just let them dry and last but not least you cannot forget your metal clips, okay? The metal clips be busy too. Now obviously since these are metal, we don't wanna soak them in you know, soapy water because it's gonna cause rust. So basically what I do is take my little spray bottle of alcohol, a cotton round, spray it, and then just wipe each individual clip off. And so same thing as a bull bristle brush, I kinda clean these as needed. If I'm using them and they feel like a little, you know, sludgy or tacky, I make sure, hey, it's time to go ahead and get these ones or white ones. I maybe do every two months, every three months, every quarter, you know, just to make sure I keep them clean, okay? And so I lay everything out and let it dry. You gotta let everything dry, right? I even went the extra mile to flip some of my utensils. <laughs> like I'm making a rotisserie chicken or something. But I flip them over, give them a spray on the other side, you know, those clips, just to make sure everything is nice and sanitized and clean, okay? Now last but not least, which you cannot forget, okay, in this entire process, we done cleaned our tools, we got clean hair, you gotta make sure, you gotta make sure your bonnets, you gotta make sure your scarves are clean, okay? You gotta make sure your other bonnet is clean, okay? You gotta make sure your tight cap is clean. You gotta make sure all the stuff are clean. Now, this guy right here, this one is generally the scarf that sets all of my style. So I always make sure this joker goes in the wash almost once a week. This one goes right on my scalp line, right around my face. So I always like to make sure this one's clean. This joker gets a wash every week, okay? We don't play that, all right? And I also notice that, you know, making sure that I keep my head wraps and stuff clean helps, you know, reduce any like um, acne and stuff I would get like right around the hairline here just because of the products and they just marinating under the scarf and we don't want to do that okay so make sure y'all clean y'all utensils and stuff on time okay anything that you are putting into your hair should be clean or should have been clean in the recent okay I know we like a good old seasoned brush you know a good old edge brush control brush a good seasoned one but clean those seasoned brushes okay it's okay if they're not seasoned. They can, they can be seasoned in age, okay? Not with built-up product on it. So make sure you're taking care of that, okay? As we're being mindful of what we're putting into our hair, you know, as far as the products, the quality of the products we're using, we also gotta think about the quality of our utensils, the quality that they're in when we put them in our hair, okay? All that, all that makes up, you know, healthy hair. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me, watching me clean up all my utensils. Now, if you did, go ahead and like this video. Leave me some comments down below. Let me know of any techniques you use to keep all your styling utensils clean. Any other products I need to try out to make, you know, my little process a little bit easier. Be sure to let me know. Now, you know, since I keep coming back each week, you know, I'm dropping this hot fire on you, be sure to subscribe to my channel before you go. And until next time, see you later. Hey, before you go, don't forget to like this video, comment below, and subscribe to my channel.